Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. Today I'm going to do something different. I'm gonna do a skincare review on The Ordinary. experience in skincare or anything but all I know is my skin has not been very good I've been struggling with it quite a bit so it led me to kind of do a little bit of research and one of the skincares that's like booming around lately has been the ordinary and I figured why not do a little bit of a review so I'm going to try it out for one month and see if my skin gets any better um, obviously they have a huge range. I'm not using all of this stuff, but I have a few products that I just chose based on things that I've seen online. Please don't come at me with the hate about I'm using it wrong or I'm doing it wrong or like, you know, but I just thought it would be interesting to give you an honest review about how it affected my skin. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please let me know if you have any helpful suggestions. I would love some tips. So right now I am going to just cleanse my face. I don't have an ordinary cleanser. I'm just using like a basic, um, really gentle cleanser. My skin can be quite sensitive. And lately I've been breaking out with little dots all over my face, on my chin, on my cheeks, on my head. Just really textured skin. And it's, you know, if, if you've struggled with bad skin, not that my skin is really bad, but if you struggle with bad skin, you know it really hits the self-confidence. So I'm going to wash my face with my cleanser and then I'm going to put on the salicylic acid 2% mask. Uh, and then if you can hear that in the background, that's my bath running. So I'm going to put this on, which is a mask that's meant to help with blemish prone skin and put it on for 10 minutes and then I'll wash it off, jump in the bath and then I'll continue with the rest of my skincare. mask says to put it on completely dry and clean skin so I'm going to make sure that my skin is really dry uh, today is the 1st of October so I will check in again probably one weekly and then give my final thoughts um, in September probably September first. wait November 1st not September black interesting so here we go just a really thin layer I'm really hoping I don't react badly to this and that it is a lifesaver um, because I don't want to have textured skin anymore I just want nice smooth skin is that too much to ask Yep. Okay, okay. I think that's good. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my problem areas. Just like on my cheek. But I think less is more, you know? Don't wanna overdo it and hurt my face. Okay, so I have finished my shower, I mean my bath, and I feel really relaxed and nice. It is nighttime, so this is a nighttime routine. Now um, I'm going to put this first. I really like the packaging by the way of The Ordinary, it did um, catch my eye. But it is the Retinol 0.5 and yeah I'm a little nervous about it because they say that it can cause a bit of irritation but I might just start with a bit and then see where I go. So. It's 
smells pretty good. No burning or irritation so far. I'm not sure if I'm meant to put this on my neck, but I'm just going to extend it because it's what I do with all my skincare. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip oil. So this is what it looks like. Same kind of packaging, same little thingy. It's really nice. just like I did with the other stuff. Yep. Sorry if you can hear like noise in the background. I'm at my brother's house and they have friends over. So to end the skincare, I'm gonna go with the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA, which is just a moisturizer, I believe. Um, and here it is. I really like to feel like moisturized and like supple before bed and in the morning. Like, I think my skin thrives like that. Um, it's not particularly dry or anything, but it's quite combination. So I do get dry areas and sometimes I get oily areas, but I think my skin looks so nice and dewy and glowy when it's really nice moisturized. Might have put too much on. Um, I think I did. <laughs> But I'll just rub it all in until it's good. And now I feel like a supple something. I feel nice and moisturized. Whew. Yes, I feel really good. And I hope this, I really do hope that this ordinary um, skincare sticks because I'm really looking for something that sticks and that I like and that I can use forever and it just works for me. I feel like skincare can be so daunting so that's why I'm making this review as well because if you're like me and you're like what do I do but I want something um, you might be in the exact same shoes as I am and it's kind of just nice to have like an honest not over the top review I feel like of something. Some of them are just overwhelming with all the facts and all the comparisons and stuff so I will check in with you guys probably in the morning with the morning skincare routine it's gonna look a little bit different um, and we'll see how my skin does with this one time use probably not that much different but we'll see good morning everyone so I am about to start my first attempt with ordinary skincare products for my morning routine um, this morning my skin feels exactly the same uh, nothing really different from using Ordinary last night, but I didn't expect as much. Um, so today I just took a shower and I washed my face with that same cleanser that I did last night. Uh, just a gentle cleanser. So my face is all clean and now I'm going to go in with the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. So it's like a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. Here it is. And I'm just gonna apply that. It's quite an interesting um, texture. I mean, color. It's like a, not clear, but not oily. Cloudy, cloudy type. There's no burning or anything. Um, yeah, it goes on really well. There's no fragrance, which is really good. I like fragrance free kind of formulas. So, yeah. It's really good. Next, I am going to go in with this moisturizer that I used yesterday. It's just, um, yeah, I like to have a moisturized face, so I'm not going to put on as much as I did yesterday because I learned that that was too much. I'm just going to put it in like so. And then 
After this, I'm just gonna go in with my SPF moisturizer. It's not the ordinary, it's just an SPF moisturizer. Uh, I'm currently using an SPF 15, but I'm, I'm wanting to get something um, a lot stronger. Uh, but I just haven't had the time to go and get one. So, and I'm not really spending much time outside lately, so that's okay, but sunscreen is huge in my skincare. If anything is reoccurring, it's sunscreen every day, religiously, so. Yeah, that's pretty much my morning routine. I'll check back with you guys in a week to see how the skincare is going. Hey guys, so it's been a week of using the ordinary stuff. I just want to do a quick skin update. And um, definitely still there. You can definitely still see it. Um, redness is still there. But I haven't noticed it get worse or anything. If anything, the bumps on my, my cheek kind of feel like more flat instead of like sticking out. So I think that's a good sign, but a week is kind of hard to tell if anything's happening. But so far I like the products, so I'll keep you updated. So it is October 16th and it is about three weeks of using the ordinary stuff. I don't have any makeup on, just woke up. Um, excuse my extra mascara, you know, we're only human. But um, my skin is feeling so much better. If you can see the redness, I mean, I have a breakout here. I still have redness, my skin's not perfect. But it is so much better than it started with and I really think it's the, <clears throat> the niacinamide and zinc. Um, I do have a disclaimer I had to change from using it, the retinol at night. I don't use that anymore. I only used that for about two weeks and then I found out that you're not meant to use retinol when you're pregnant. So I stopped doing that um, and I'll continue later. But yeah, everything else I've been using I really like it so far. One more week and then I will give you my final conclusions about The Ordinary. Hey guys, so this is the last week of my Ordinary skincare routine review. So I have been doing these products, using these products for a month uh, and this is the final vlog, final review. Um, so as you can see, my skin is not, you know, it's not better in like, it's not fixed is what I mean, but it is so much better. And even if like you can't necessarily see it, like it's not perfect. I'm not gonna say that this is a miracle cure because I still have a bit of redness here and here. Um, and I'm, you know, I have a few breakouts on my chin, but I've also been eating a lot of sugar lately. Um, but overall, the appearance of my skin has dramatically changed uh, in this one month of using these products. So it hasn't been a miracle cure, but I'm definitely going to keep using these products. Um, in saying that, I love some of the products a little bit more than others. My favorite product that I used was the niacinamide and zinc. I really felt like that was the game changer in um, clearing up the redness and reducing the bumpiness of my skin. Like right now I just woke up, I haven't, I look pretty terrible. Um, no makeup, just, you know. But I really felt like that helped me and um, I will continue using that. I'm so glad that I actually tried that and found that because now I'm gonna incorporate it into my skincare routine, always. Like that's always gonna be part of it. Uh, the other stuff, um, the, moisturizer that I got it is good I'll still use it but I don't think it's my favorite moisturizer that I've used I didn't feel like it was very moisturizing um, it just felt like a real surface hydration which uh, it's okay and it's good but I have quite dry skin dry sensitive skin so I would like something a little more intense um, the rosehip oil is nice on the skin I like the salicylic acid mask. I just use it twice a week um, because I didn't want to irritate my skin too much. But that was good as well. Uh, like I said in my, I think by week three, um, I stopped using the retinol 
because I'm pregnant and I realized uh, that you're not meant to use that when you're pregnant. So I will probably continue that for aging purposes, but just post-pregnancy. But as for now, um, I'm excited to keep using these products. Like the transformation in my skin, especially here is where I was really having problems. These few breakouts, everyone gets them, let's be honest. Um, especially with all my hormones fluctuating from pregnancy and the copious amounts of sugar I've been eating haven't been the best with that um, but in terms of from before till now there's been a huge change in my skin and I really think that it was the ordinary products especially that niacinamide and zinc because I haven't been doing anything else to my skin so I hope this review was useful um, and I am by no means a health expert, a beauty expert, a skincare expert. This is just what I found using them. So yeah, good luck on your skincare journeys. <laughs>